Hello everyone, this is Preeti. We are here with the another question of exercise 8.1, page number 146, question number 8. ABCD is a rectangle in which diagonal AC bisect angle A as well as angle C show that ABCD is a square and the second one is the diagonal BD bisect angle B as well as the angle D. First of all, we are going to draw the figure. So, this is the rectangle we are having and these are the diagonals. Now, I am going to give the names to the rectangle A, B, C, D. Now, I am going to give the names to the angles. So, this is the angle number 1. This is the angle number 2. Now coming on the other side. This is the angle number 3 and this one is the angle number 4. Now we are going to solve the question. Angle number 1 is equal to the angle number 2. Why? Because angle number 1 is equal to the angle number 3 and angle number 3 is equal to the angle number 2. Because AC is bisecting the angle A as well as the angle C. So, 1 is equal to the angle 2. Now, we are going to take the triangle, the triangle ACD. Now, this is the triangle ACD. Now, in this triangle, CD is equal to AD. Side opposite to the equal angles are equal. So, we are going to write here side opposite to equal angles are equal. So, CD is equal to the AD. Now, AB is equal to CD. Now, this is the AB and this is the CD. They are the opposite side and AD this one is equal with the C B or you can write it as B C. Now as we know that A B is equal to C D and C D is equal to A D this one and A D is equal to B C that means four of them are equal. So if four of them are equal therefore this one is a square. So we are going to write here therefore A B C D is a square. So this is the part 1 where we have to prove that ABCD is a square. Now comes to the part 2. In this one we have to prove that the diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as the angle D. Now I am going to give the names to the angles. This is the angle number 5, angle 6, angle 7 and this is the angle 8. Now we are going to solve the part second. Now in the part second, BC is equal to, this is the BC, BC is equal to CD. Now BC is equal to CD and angle number 5 is equal to the angle number 6. They both are equal. Why? Because angle opposite to the equal sides are equal. So we are going to write here angle opposite to equal sides are equal. So angle number 5 is equal to the angle number 6. Now comes to the next one. The next one is the angle number 5 is equal to the angle number 7. This is the 5, this is the 7. So they are the alternate interior angles. Similarly, angle number 6 is equal to the angle number 8. 6 is equal to the 8 by alternate interior angles. Now, if angle number 5 is equal to the 6 and 5 is also equal to the 
7. That means angle number 6 is equal to the angle number 7. So I'm going to write here. This is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2. So angle number 6 is equal to the angle number 7 by equation number 1 and 2. Now comes to the next one. In the next one angle number 5 is equal to the angle number 8. So I'm going to write here. Angle number 5 is equal to the angle number 8. Why? Because 5 is equal to the 6 and 6 is equal to the 8. So this is the equation number 3. So we are going to write here by equation 1 and 3. So angle number 5 is equal to the angle number 8. So we can write here that BD bisects BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. So with this one we have completed the question number 8. In the next video we are going to start with the question number 9.